Male pattern baldness, or androgenetic alopecia, is the most common form of hair loss in men. It is characterized by diffuse thinning of hair on the vertex of the scalp, as well as recession from the temporal region of the scalp. Male pattern baldness affects over 50% of men aged over 50. This process often occurs slowly and can be occurring for some months to years before the patient actually realises that they do have a hair loss problem. The underlying cause of androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness is the process of miniaturisation. This is where the hair follicle and shaft becomes smaller each time it passes through the hair cycle. The hair cycle also speeds up, which means the patient realises they are shedding hair more quickly and may also not be able to grow their hair as long. The signs of male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia in men is one of a gradual thinning process of hair from the vertex of the scalp. People may notice that the frontal hairline is receding in the temporal region bilaterally and also that at the back of the vertex or the area called the crown, the hair is thinning. Patients may also notice that they're shedding more hair and may see hair on the pillow or hair on the desk at work. Other people report increased hair shedding when washing their hair. There are many treatments on the market for male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia in men, but it's important to choose ones that have scientific evidence behind them. A dermatologist will choose a clinically proven treatment option to treat androgenetic alopecia. There are two main forms of treatment. One involves topical minoxidil, which is a lotion or a foam that's applied to the scalp which causes the hair to grow thicker and faster. Topical minoxidil needs to be applied consistently and if treatment is stopped, clinical regression is seen within three to six months. The other main treatment used for male pattern balding or androgenetic alopecia is oral finasteride. This is a tablet that works extremely well and nine out of 10 men respond to this tablet. Of the nine out of 10, we see a third of men that get good regrowth a third that get moderate regrowth, and a third that get little in the way of regrowth, but it holds further loss. Once again, this medication needs to be continued to maintain the improvement. Like any medical or systemic treatment, there can be associated side effects. Your dermatologist would discuss this with you in your consultation. The side effects of finasteride are mainly sexually related, and in the original clinical trial, it was seen that 1.8% of men complained of lack of libido or reduction in sex drive, and 1.3% of men complained of erectile dysfunction. Regrowth with finasteride is seen mainly in the first 12 months, and then after this period, it is important to remain on the medication to maintain that response. When we talk about regrowth, we're mainly referring to hair regrowing on the vertex of the scalp, rather than a reversal of the bitemporal recession that we also see with male pattern baldness. Clinical photography is essential to monitor progress to treatment and also is encouraging to the patient when they see a good response to treatment.